let's go through the checklist. Refrigerator? Yes. Dishwasher? Ooh. No. Yep. Okay, closet doors are locked. Bedroom doors closed. Yes. Shower doors are locked. Yes. Bathroom door is locked and in place. Microwave plate's done. Yep. Liners are back. Carpet runners are down. Windows are closed. Cupboards we check. TV antenna is off. Wi-Fi is off. Water pump is off. Hot water heater is off. Dining table is locked. Berkey stand is done. Yes, sir. And the AC is off. Okay, you ready for that slide? inside yeah one last check Straighten it up. And you're in.
Hang on a second. I just don't know about this. Yeah, you're good. Getting close to that truck back here. You got it. Good morning. Good morning. Benson, Arizona. Woohoo! Why did we come to Benson? Well, it's kind of a time to reflect and waste. <laughs> waste time. <laughs> so we've got Rest. to be in Oklahoma uh, to visit with Alicia and get some paperwork done on our coach. So we left Yuma, headed for Benson, which is about a four hour drive yeah. east of uh, Yuma. Mm -hmm. And we were hoping to find some side-by-side uh, -side riding here, but it's kind of far and few between. Yeah, we haven't found any. No. So we did meet up with uh, some friends of ours. Mm -hmm. Chuck and Cheryl. Chuck and Cheryl. We, uh, we met them at the heavy duty truck rally, the West Coast rally, a couple of years ago. Nice people. They're staying in Tombstone for the winter. Yeah. And um, so let me give you a little bit of advice here. Yuma, Arizona has an elevation of about 100 feet. I couldn't believe that. <laughs> Benson, Arizona has an elevation of about 3,600 feet. And the temperature difference is? Equals colder. Yeah. So we had an extra <laughs> special cup of coffee this morning to yeah. try to warm ourselves up because it was 30 degrees when I got up. Oh. <laughs> But it's been pleasant. Yeah, but sitting here in the sunshine, the sun is so warm. The sky's clear, no wind. No, it's supposed to be 62 today. Yeah. And that's a good thing, because yesterday it was cloudy and rainy. And today, we get to go to the Burl Forever Rescue. Yep, with uh, Chuck and Cheryl. They had already made an appointment to go down and visit. After we got here to Benson, uh, we took a day and we went down to Tombstone to visit with Chuck and Cheryl and decided to go to lunch in Bisbee. Cutest town ever. It is, it's a quaint little town, yeah. isn't it? They have a great Mexican restaurant. It's an old mining town uh, south of Tombstone. And uh, so we took a day drive down there and had lunch. Uh, we'd been to a little Mexican restaurant down there before and it was wonderful. Oh, great food. Yeah, superb food. Yeah. So we went down there and had lunch and they said, you ever been to Lowell? And I said, Lowell? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Lola, Arizona. It takes you back in the 1950s. And we said, nope, we never have. <laughs> <laughs> so they showed us Lowell. And it was just, what, a mile down from Bisbee? I mean, it was just, it was just right yeah. there. It was yeah. just crazy. You walk down the road, it's a different time. I haven't seen one of these since I was in my 20s. I used to be able to use one of these. <laughs> All by hand. All by hand. Yep. Those are pretty cool.
So we had such a great time at Bisbee. We did. And it was a great day. Then Chuck and Cheryl said, "Hey, Tuesday, we're gonna. We've got an appointment to go to the Borough Forever Rescue. Yeah. So we're gonna go see that today. Sunday, we got a chance to go visit one of our favorite churches in East Tucson. Uh huh. Calvary. Yep. And while we were there, we met up with a special subscriber. Alan, you are awesome. Yep. We, we love you. We had such a great time Just with Alan. Laugh and what a great guy. Yep. Man. All right, look who we found on the road. We found Alan. You guys have probably seen Alan's posts on our video. Yeah. And he saw a little red pull up. Look there. And we went out to lunch, had lunch together. See what you guys can do on the road? Yeah. Awesome. Absolutely awesome. Thanks, Ellen. This has been a blessing for us. Yeah, it uh, has. It's been a dream come true of mine for a while ever <laughs> since we talked. So, Alan's from New York, and we're full-time RVers, but guess where we met? Tucson, Arizona. Tucson, Arizona. Go who'd, figure. Who'd have thunk? Who'd have thunk? <laughs> <laughs> this has been awesome, Alan. Yeah, Thank it you. It has. Thank it has. you. It's been right. a great afternoon. And I hope we get another chance to do it again, maybe when I have my own camper. Absolutely. And I'm going to be on YouTube. So we really had a good time. We and are we're so blessed. We are looking forward to, to getting together with him once we get up in the Northeast. He's originally from New York. He's yeah. down visiting his daughter and his grandchild, new grandbaby. His granddaughter, new girl. So we got a chance to go out and, and uh, visit with him a little bit. And now we're going to go to the Borough Rescue. Are you ready to go? I am so ready. I want to pet them <laughs> and love them and smooch them. All right, so I don't let's know if go. I can, but I'll try. Let's go see what this is all about. Okay. So. Hi, buddy. He's I'm off of a home that uh, has a jack on it. Okay. So she's already had two or three babies already, and. Uh, she, her last fall was in November, and they go about 12 to 14 months gestation, so um, we're looking in the springtime possibly that she's pregnant. She looks like she's pregnant, but the test to have it checked out is like $175, uh -huh. and we just kind of like, okay, we'll just find out in the spring if she's pregnant or not, or, she, or we're just dealing with a fat donkey. <laughs> There's no work for donkeys in Arizona, and we don't have any herds that they can, they can you know, watch no, over, and, and there's just, there's just the mines, you can't work them in the mines or anything. Uh, when they worked in the mines, they only lived to the age of 12, and their average uh, life span is 40 to 45 years, so. I know, you're not, you're not stuck in there. Is that what you're thinking? You're not stuck in there. You can tell by her neck, her crest area, that she's yeah. overweight. Oh. I don't know. They store, they're feast and phantom animals. So oh. when they um, are, are out in the wild, they're traveling about 26 miles every day just to, for survival through the desert. And so there's not much for them to eat, but they eat all kinds, they eat sticks and all kinds of vegetation yeah. and stuff. Uh, so they store, when they come into abundance of food, they store the extra fat here in their crest area of their neck area and for use when they when they don't have oh, food. Yeah. Uh, it's just like our stomach, once she gets so big, it just kind of flops over. Mm, yeah. That's what happens to her neck and it breaks that muscle that holds that crest up. So when you see donkeys that have, like her neck is really cresty uh -huh. and her and her mane is like over this way. Her crest yeah. is over this way. How many have we you got have, on site? We have 39, uh, 39 burrows and one mini mule. Okay. A mini mule, a mini mule just a little mini mule. She'd always wanted to raise mules. So we thought we'd get the jack and then we'd get a small mare and we'd raise uh, smaller mules. Well, then she, after we got him, she found out on the internet and stuff that that, that doesn't always work. Oh. And so I didn't want to spend the money to buy a horse and find out it didn't work. So we decided to keep him as a pet. Well, a pet needed a companion. Donkeys need yes. companions. They need other donkeys. Tish and who's this so we bought another one and Tish doctored him for six months. We had to have him euthanized because he had so many health issues. He was so bad. So it kind of put us, we were, we weren't aware of the plight of the donkey here, you know, mm -hmm. and because they have no value, they don't get taken care of. Wow. So, oh one of the little girls running around, one of the spotted girls, uh -huh. some people well, over at Wilcox bought the property, moved in here and bought the property. Two days later, she showed up on her doorstep. This just dropped her off? The people who owned the property never told the donkey, there was a donkey out oh, there. They just oh, sold the property oh, with the donkey. Oh, oh man. 
And they didn't want to, they didn't particularly want to keep the donkey. So. We'll tell you where they came from and they keep track of them and they send them out to tip trainers usually. Uh, and a tip trainer is responsible to getting their halter put on them, uh, a fly mask put on them, lift all four hooves, uh, lead them and trailer them so the five so they're supposed to do the five things and then once they do that within 90 days they get paid 750 dollars oh. and then they just, then they adopt them out well that was an amazing time it was it really was the uh forever home donkey rescue mm -hmm. and what an amazing couple oh i know they take in these these donkeys they care for them they love them and it, it was just so cool to see the donkeys just walking around, yeah. just taking you know, their home. Yeah, so that's their personal 10 acres that their home is on that they have dedicated to this donkey rescue. Yeah. And they've got, a, yeah. I mean, it's complete with a cemetery. I know, headstones for all the ones yep. that have passed. And yep. I mean, they just give their love to them 100%. It's just amazing. Yeah, so something we didn't catch on video is they actually transport the healthy animals from that 10 acres up to the high country in Colorado to get them out of the heat and away from the flies in the summertime. So mm -hmm. that was kind of interesting. Yeah. So Chuck and Cheryl discovered this place because they have... Um, Donkey races. Yeah, yeah, that's how they found out. Yeah, so they have one in Tombstone, they have a couple in Colorado, mm -hmm. and apparently uh, some of these races are as long as a marathon, 26 miles. Right. And the donkey, you know, trots along on the trail, and then the, what do you call them, the human? <laughs> that I goes guess. With them, that's I'm thinking with them. to myself, oh my gosh, that's a long way to. They run alongside the yeah. donkey, and the two of them as a pair are a team on these races, and uh, it, we got to see one next oh, time I've we come through. I've got to now. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that was an amazing place, and if you're ever in the Tucson Benson area, it is well worth a morning oh, yeah. or an afternoon to, to go visit with them and see these animals and meet the people that are taking care of them. That was really cool. So. We're going to leave their information, their website, their address and phone number down below in the description. So if you ever get into the Tucson Benson area, oh my gosh, give them go, a call and go, and go visit. Them. That was yeah. that was pretty cool. Yeah, it was so peaceful there. They're just, oh, this awesome. So again, that leads us into this lifestyle is just, it allows us to do so many cool things. Uh, we were just talking to our neighbors just this morning. They're leaving tomorrow. Yeah. Um, we were just talking to them this morning and they mentioned that there's a place down by Bisbee. He said hundreds of sand cranes come and migrate here yeah. for the winter. <laughs> uh, we had no idea. No idea. So we'll have to go check that out next time we come through. Absolutely. So again, yeah. this full-time lifestyle allows us to see so many cool things and we get to meet so many neat people on the road. Um, you know, our neighbors next to us, They've been traveling on the road, he said, for, I think he said, 15 years now. Oh, I did not know that. So wow. they've, they've seen a lot, done a lot, yeah. and uh, it's pretty cool. You can get, you can get ideas from, from the different people and, and a different perspective. Yeah. So we're getting ready to pack it up and move on down the road. We are. Where we are we going? We are going to Oklahoma. Oklahoma, Oklahoma bound. Yeah, just one step closer to our new rigs. I'm yeah. so excited. So we're going to do a quick trip out of Benson into Oklahoma. It's just going to be a quick overnighter just uh, outside of Albuquerque is our plan. We'll see how that goes. A couple of, of long travel days. That's uh, okay. And then we'll get to meet up with our friends Slade and Alicia. I'm excited. Hang out with them for a while. Yeah, that'll be fun. Uh, a bunch of you have told us that you've contacted Alicia and she's uh, been able to set you up with with a coach and, and that's really, really awesome. Congratulations. That's so cool. We're excited for you and for Alicia as well. Yeah, yeah, she's so awesome. Um, so if you have any questions on the experience or, or things that uh, that we do, um, you know, that we did custom-wise on our coach that, that you might think about doing on yours, shoot us an email. Yeah. Be happy to share with you what we've done and, and what we recommend on some of this stuff. Yeah. So it was cold again this morning, but... Oh my goodness, it was cold. It's a lot better now. I mean, the oh, sun's it's... out, it's blue sky, there's not a cloud in sight, there's no breeze, it's just perfect. Yeah, it's 64 degrees and the sun is really hot. Yeah. It's very nice. So we're gonna miss the heat, 
<laughs> on into Oklahoma. At Oklahoma, the weather's supposed to hold out for us while we're there. Yeah. We're anxious to see Mike. Yeah. Again. Yeah. And uh, get together with him. All right, so we're going to wrap this up from Arizona. So from Benson, Arizona. It all starts with an idea. Thanks for coming along, guys. We'll talk to you next week. See you soon. Bye-bye.